You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. Back with us on the program with easy steps to eat healthier for the new year is Jill Skeem. She's a certified macrobiotic health counselor, educator, and chef, a graduate of the Strengthening Health Institute, a premier macrobiotic educational facility in Philadelphia, also a graduate of The Ohio State University, and author of the award-winning cookbook, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, more than 60 of your favorite comfort foods with a delicious vegan twist. Jill teaches adult and children's cooking classes, lectures to companies and organizations on health and wellness, was a contributing writer to her local paper, various publications, appears regularly on regional television and radio shows discussing healthy eating and demonstrating recipes, and now she's back with us on This Week in America. The author of Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover, Jill Scheme, joins us on the program. Jill, welcome back. Thanks, Rick. It's always a pleasure. This has been fun leading up to the holidays, and the holidays are finally close now. We're really right. we're just a few days away from, uh, from Christmas and then into the new year. We're going to talk about easy steps to eat healthier for the new year, and now is probably a good time to get our mind uh, sort of set for that. So we right. had the first of the year, and we're making our, our resolutions. We have that at the top of the list. One thing we talked about this before, and this is interesting, cheese is something that's plentiful. We find it everywhere, and you're saying we could really all be a lot healthier if we would eliminate or at least cut back on cheese. Right. I mean, it's so easy to do. I think a slice of American cheese is 100 calories, but, you know, you have saturated fat, cholesterol, a lot of salt. So the easiest way to cut that out is just to take it off, even if you're having a burger or a sandwich. You know, just take off the cheese or don't indulge so much on the sour cream, maybe use some avocado, you know, things like that. So, um I think that's an easy change is to say no cheese, please. So, well, yeah, it's easy. And suddenly when, when you really focus on that, cheese is more plentiful than you think. I mean, you get a salad, they got oh, cheese on yeah. that. It, it, it's amazing. So look for the cheese, try to avoid that. Right. You mentioned something interesting and that sort of uh, uh, eliminating or cutting back again on the mayo. And there are other things that you yeah. could use. And that's something that we like to pile on uh, sandwiches, for example. What are some of the alternatives? But- Yeah, who doesn't like that? Um, Mustard, I always would substitute mustard for that. Like I said, you could do mashed avocado. And there's also a product called Veganaise, which is a non-egg, non-dairy product. And if you grew up on Miracle Whip, I know I did, it's very similar to Miracle Whip. You would probably not know the difference. So you could substitute your mayonnaise um, love for Veganaise and and save a lot of the cholesterol and saturated fat. It's delicious, actually. Jill Scheme, our guest on This Week in America, author of the uh, cookbook, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. More than a cookbook, it's really sort of a lifestyle guiding book. Great pictures, over 60 recipes. I I just love when you look through each one. Then you look at the recipe because you're thinking, okay, I really like that picture. How complicated, how intricate (laughs) is this going to be? And I look and it's like, well, I got all these ingredients here at home. And once you start trying these, it's like, well, these are good. And you've said before in the program, you had someone that got caught up in the pictures, the whole concept, didn't start off to lose weight. And suddenly after a few weeks, they find they're, right. they're, they're dropping pounds. Yes, they really, I, I've heard that from several people that have bought the book. They really didn't expect to lose weight, but when, and they're still eating their favorite dishes. So you can still have lasagna. You have no idea that there's no cheese in it. So why not? But you lose the saturated fat, the cholesterol, and you cut down on a lot of calories. So you know, it's it's really easy. This is the final of a three-part series we did with Jill. Parts one and two are available by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. You go to the archives. You can go to iTunes and listen to the first two programs. You go to YouTube and watch the first two programs. Talking about things you can do to eat healthier for the new year. One thing I always find interesting, you have people that feel like, you know, I just had a salad. Well, what right. did you put on the salad? Well, I had some right. ranch dressing or some Thousand Island or whatever. How many people are kidding themselves thinking, I just had a salad, a lot of vegetables, I'm eating well, and that it's covered with all of these really fat dressings? 
Right, it's true. And a lot, and some of the um, salads can have more calories, more fat than like a burger and fries. Yes. So, uh, and living out in Idaho, they do a lot of ranch dressing in Thousand Island out here. And so vinaigrettes are kind of unusual. But I would just say, you know, if you're going to have a salad, try a vinaigrette, which is an oil and, and maybe balsamic vinaigrette um, dressing or have it on the side and just, you know, dip your um, salad into that. And, uh, and, and you'll save a ton of calories and a ton of fat. Very well, easy to do. You talk about substituting beans for meat or chicken, and some people would go, right. wait a minute, how can you do that? Talk about that because it's easy to do, and you're not giving up a whole lot from a, from a taste standpoint either. No, you're not. And a lot of people are practicing meatless Mondays. So, I mean, you can do a bean and, and brown rice burrito instead of a ground beef and, and rice burrito. So it's very easy to do. You can add beans to your chili, although I know some parts of the country, they don't like beans in their chili. But you can do that. And it's um, more fiber. It's uh, less saturated fat. It's easier to digest on your body than, um, you know, meat and chicken. And I'm not saying you have to do that all the time. But, you know, substitute out a few meals a week and you'll you'll notice a difference plus you'll have more fiber in your diet which is important well you've talked a lot about little differences can end up with big rewards and that's how it started right. is making little changes rather than drastic lifestyle changes you're probably right. not going to stick with because it is so drastic but make those make those little changes and if you decide you want to continue to eat meat chicken or pork you got a great idea. Make it a, a side dish instead of a, a huge portion. Portions, people used to think right. a portion is whatever they serve me. Right. If I go to and a restaurant, a that's a portion. <laughs> that 16-ounce steak, apparently that's a portion of steak. Don't work that way, though, does it? No, what I would recommend, and my sister actually does this, whatever she gets, she cuts it in half and puts it in a to-go box because the longer you sit there and you talk and you're having a good time, the more you'll eat. So I always recommend if you do have, you know, meat or chicken, pork, um, just do it more like a side dish size and balance it with, you know, a salad. Maybe they have sauteed vegetables at the restaurant, um, you know, or some soup, vegetable soup. I would just balance it with that. And then you have another meal out of it. You can make a sandwich or you can cut it up, put it in your homemade soup. You know, there's so many things to do, but we have huge portions in this country. So just cut it off and, and take it home for another meal, which is great. Jill Scheme, our guest on This Week in America. The book is Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. We're talking about easy steps to eat healthier for a new year. A great way to go into the new year is with the cookbook, Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. Information available at Jill's website, jillscheme, S-K-E-E-M dot com. Of course, you can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and the book's available wherever books are sold. Go to Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You'll find information there as right. well. Something you say this is interesting, when, especially eating out, because people go, that all sounds good, but when eating out, I'm not sure what to do. You say sort of start with the vegetables. Take a look and sort of go back from there. Yes, I always think in every, I, my husband teases me, says, you never order anything off the menu. And I'm like, well, do I have to? <laughs> so anyway, I always look at the menu and see what other things they have. And like if they have brown rice in another dish, you know, I'll ask for brown rice or maybe they might have polenta. But I always see what other vegetables they have and say, well, could you put this on there or add to it? Um, I think it's important, even when you go to an Italian restaurant, a lot of times you can have pasta maybe with red sauce or an olive oil sauce and you say oh could you add you know broccoli mushrooms onions carrots which is what we've done if you notice it so I always think the more vegetables the better add it to a sandwich um, whenever you can add them do it and they're usually so accommodating and nice they really are five minutes left in the program comfort food gets a vegan makeover and we've talked about this several times before but you're taking the foods that we really like and the substitutions you're making really aren't giving up a whole lot in taste are they what's amazing is yeah. when people will taste these and go like wow this in some cases it's even better than the original oh i've heard that a lot and even for my husband's business associates i made the uh, lasagna and instead of ricotta cheese i used tofu and i blend it with kalamata olives and sun-dried tomatoes and basil and a little olive oil and <laughs> they thought it was cheese and i really, <laughs> i didn't tell them so, but you don't miss the taste. It's the same integrity of the dish, which is the goal that I have. So I have mashed potatoes in there. I don't do it with cauliflower. I mean, we live in Idaho. They like potatoes. So you can still have your mashed potatoes, um, but without all the saturated fat and cholesterol. And, you know, why not? So, so. people go home, they're raving about the lasagna, and they have no yeah. idea they just had tofu in their lasagna. No. 
No, and we served our tofu egg salad at our wedding reception, and Tom's 80-year-old farmer uncle in his overalls ate two or three <laughs> egg salad sandwiches and said, this is the best egg salad I ever had. And I looked at my husband, he looked at me, and he goes, are you going to tell him? I'm like, no, I don't think he wants to know he ate tofu. But um, they can taste very similar. And that was my goal of this cookbook, to make it as similar as possible so you can have your favorites, but in a healthier way. You know, Because a lot of times people start a diet in the new year, they eat salad, they eat carrot sticks, and then within two or three weeks, they're off and done. And, um, you know, it shouldn't be like that. Now, this is something that's long-lasting, a great way to start the new year. Yes. Comfort Food gets a vegan makeover. It's available at Jill's website, Jill's Scheme, S-K-E-E-M dot com. It's available, of course, at Amazon, and you can look on directly to Jill's website by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Well, the holidays are about over. We're done for the three episodes, but we'll check back yeah. during the course of the year. So much more to talk about. I always uh, enjoy having you on the program, and thank you so much for being with us and some great information during the, the course of the three shows. Well, Rick, I appreciate you having me on here, and I hope I've helped someone with, at least with a few tips or so with their health. So thank you so much. And you'll find more by going to the website, jillscheme.com. Some free recipes there as well, some interesting articles, stories, and, of course, information on the cookbook. Comfort Food Gets a Vegan Makeover. You'll find all the information at our website. You can click on directly to Jill's website by going to thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. <laughs> 